In the end, all our facilities, equipment and buildings are not ends, but they're means. They're the means to progress, and I know that this excellent new facility will be fully used to that end. But be in no doubt, this day is very special for the department. For the first time in our history, we are housed under one roof in a building designed for purpose. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm really pleased to see this building. Uh, I congratulate everybody concerned in it. I grew up in engineering building at UCL, so I still bear the scars of that. I know <laughs> the effort that was involved in it. Uh, the, uh, the first uh, is that as a former Minister of Science, uh, I know that the UK, um, and indeed Cambridge in particular, are actually world leaders in this particular field. They're, they're well respected, understood, they're world leaders across the world, and that's a great achievement. Uh, the second point is just to say that I think this splendid building will do an enormous amount to help the department to stay as world leaders and to go on making key advances. It's also, I think, part uh, of what is an enormously exciting period of development uh, for Cambridge, uh, which will maintain and in it indeed enhance its reputation across the world. So on the basis of those two points, can I just say how delighted I am uh, to declare this building open. It is a large university investment and that's because the university thinks this area of material science is very important and we also see it as crucial that it's on this West Cambridge site which is really up and coming for the university. So we're linking close to our colleagues in physics, in manufacturing and soon chemical engineering will be up next door to us as well. So bright things to come I think. We started out with a, with a clear set of specifications uh, to deliver against and, and those have changed with time and with understanding both from us and, and, and from the users uh, from the university. So those, those things have thrown up challenges, all of which have been met. They've created moments when it's been difficult, but it's, those things have been resolved, which is through collaboration and working together. We have to recognise it just was a highly complex project because we as a department have very mixed activities ranging from very sensitive nano science, very sensitive vibration, etc. And at the same time we've got heavy experiments that are generating vibration. So they have to be isolated from each other. So it was the most tremendous challenge for everybody. And I think that means it's a tremendous sense of achievement now that we've delivered it and it's actually performing to specification. It's much better in some sense. I used the uh, microscopes quite a lot, so there it was noisy and there were some problems uh, with the seepage and, and different things, but now I think we'll have noise-proof buildings and much better for the facilities. When we did a, a tour, an initial tour of the building, I realized that it was a, a custom-made building and uh, there's been a lot of uh, thought into the, you know, uh, things like energy efficiency and uh, environmental friendliness and so on. So it's a, yeah, it's a good building in that respect. I was really impressed with the labs because um, the labs in the previous uh, buildings were all very old, not much space, and um, now all our equipment has its proper position. Uh, it's quite nice to actually work in the labs. 
and the fact that we're all together in the office is also really nice. So now it's much more sociable and you can talk to people about your work more easily because everyone's sort of around and our supervisors, we see them more often. So, yeah, it's all very, very good. And it's nice to be in a sort of purpose-built uh, facility. Even though it's out of town, it's, it's nice to feel like you can sort of see all the other groups in, in action yes. um, as you walk around the department because it's very sort of open plan and you can see lots of other research going on, which is nice. <laughs>